right, welcome back to Modified Civ 3. In the last episode, um, we picked up a bunch of texts, including Construction and Monarchy. And we have 10 more turns to see Frank. So what we're going to do is switch our government right now over to Monarchy. Um, and yeah, you know it's going to be all right. So let's hope, once we get out of this, that um, it's going to actually be all right. So let's go around really quickly and make sure we're going to lose some citizens maybe, but I want to make sure everybody's happy so we can get out of monarchy or get into monarchy really quickly. Um, you're a little bit unhappy. That's okay. I'll make you happy for now. Happy, happy, happy joy. Let's just take this guy and let's take you and let's take you and you we really need to make sure we don't end up with cities in turmoil here so you're fine you're f why are you oh it's no different but it will be after monarchy so let's put those there one unhappy, let's do this. Getting close. You should be like this anyway. Let's do that. We got one unhappy, it doesn't really matter where we take it. And uh, this can be... Oh, we're happy here, we're okay. And these guys are okay, and these guys are okay, and you're okay. Everybody's okay. No, we gotta change this. So let's do... Doesn't really matter. We're gonna lose some people probably. We're gonna have to go through this all again once we uh, get Monarchy to make sure uh, everybody's back in place here. Let's do that. Hmm. This one. So that's it. We're gone around once, so... Let's, uh, yeah, let's head off. Alright, keeping up with the Rite of Passage with Spain, we really want to do that. Um, we want to keep them as happy as possible. Byzantines and Inca have signed a, a military alliance against Aztecs. So really the upper, upper and east continent are all at war up there. That's going to hamper research, which really bothers me. Accept enough. We'll accept that. We need the rite of passage. And nothing there. Never mind. As long as I can keep Spain, Babylon, and Korea happy. America declared war on the Koreans. Wonderful. I thought they were allied against uh, the Inca. Huh. Maybe they didn't have a rite of passage? No, they wouldn't do that. So let's just wig through these guys here. Everything's going to be really slow for the next few turns, so I'm not worried. Um, I want to find out where that continent connects over there. Alright, let's keep going. Alright, what's up the Byzantines? Yeah, no, sorry, I'm not going to war with anybody yet. It's a shame though, we got all these cool ancient units that I like to be able to use in a fight. <laughs> Of course, I shouldn't say it too loud, because then someone will actually attack me. But, uh, it'd be nice if I could, you know, use some of them in battle, but it's not going to happen. See, they got elephants and don't know it yet. So our barracks are producing a few extra guys every few turns or so, which is great. It's keeping our, uh threat value up a little bit. Let's leave the stone, I think. Um, let's go one, two, build a road there. Let's go here. Let's get a road in the mine. Let's build a road here. Road. So I don't know if that goes all the way around up there. 
Find out soon enough, I guess. All right, next turn. And there's our first elephants produced. Nice. Attack four units. Defense one. Extra hit point. All right, let's irrigate that. There it is there. Let's move you. Oh, we didn't get the barracks done in time. Oh, well. Oops, did not mean to do that. You're going to be a road. And a road. And let's put a mine in here. Road. And I went too fast, and I think he is going to get destroyed. Uh, one, two. There's another tribal village there. I don't know how many more turns till we get uh, to monarchy, but here we go. So Aztecs in Korea against America. Sure. Yep, we'll take your right of passage. Sounds good. Okay, come on, let's get out of this anarchy and get into monarchy already. I don't think so. Oh, well, maybe. It's taking a while. It's taking a while. Let's go. Nope. You were just holding me in suspense so you could sink my ship. That's all you were doing. Alright, let's get you to go here. And we're going to put you... Let's go this way. Just going to fortify these units in here. Yeah, where... I don't know where they're... Uh, Let's go this way. I don't know if this actually meets up anywhere over here. So how would they... Unless it's over here. Yeah, this is not a good sign when you see, like, cratered cities. Alright, what's up, Korea? Yeah, nope. Sorry, buddy. Another catapult. Grizzly warrior barracks. Sorry, grizzly warrior. So let's just leave him fortified here. Aye. And yeah, see, like, let's do that. Keep doing this. Maybe that landmass curves around up there. I don't know. Ah, uh, here we go. Finally, monarchy. Watch our gold return just drop. It's going to take a bit to stabilize this, I think. Yeah, minus 49, but we'll fix that really quick here. All right, so we got extra happy citizens, so we can do that. We should be okay, I think, with one unhappy laborer. We've got the uh, furs here, so I think we'll probably be fine. Let's go there. And there. I think we had it here, didn't we? Because we're, yeah, we're, we'd be wasting uh, food if we went in the other place. So that's fine. And we can put someone here. Get some good hammers. And you are going to go here, because you'll be done in a couple, in a turn or so. And you're going to take that one. And you are going to go here, and here, and here, and there. No, there. Get that gold going. We don't have anybody that we need to shift here. We've got one person to lay down, which I'll go right there. Keep that gold upcoming. 
Um, you don't have anybody we need to worry about. I'm going to move this to here. It's only going to be a turn, or a couple turns before we get a road in there, so that's fine. Um, we got one person here which can go there. And you've got one. Let's throw them on there. Get those nice extra hammers in. You've got one which can go here. You've got one. And you have one. You're fine. You've got one person which can go here. You're okay. Uh, I'm going to shift this from there to there. Because we're going to irrigate that in a second. And I'd rather have the extra hammers for a couple of turns. And that's fine. we got the extra gold here. Now we're going to put one guy here. That's an extra hammer. And you can take that one. You're fine. And you can take this one. And you are okay for now. Yeah. Hmm. Don't get any benefit out of the hammer, so let's just stick with the gold. And that'll have to stay that way, I think. And we'll do that. And you're as far as you can go. And you're pretty much done here, too. Let's see where they decided to go for the gold. No, let's go for the hammers, man. Hammers, baby. And that's it. So let's see what we're at now. Minus 32. Well, let's just check our research here. Oh yeah, so we only at minus 14. Not bad. We were able to drop our research by one. Ten turns to go for seafaring. Let's just plow through it. Oh, let's get these guys organized up here. Irrigation. Road. Road. Uh, let's keep going this way. Okay, Spearman, we're gonna do maybe one more here. And I think we're gonna want a library next. Let's go with the library next. Barracks at the front, nice. Let's grab a Spearman. Another barracks at the front to Spearman. Yeah, see, these guys are like, I know they were on their border, but now they're on my border and I don't like this. Could tell them to take, to take a hike, but chances are we'll end up going to war, so I don't want that. Alright, so now I can start chopping this guy. And you can go here, I guess. And let's move that way. Here. Let's mine that. We're going to have to start doing irrigation irrigation soon enough, but uh, not yet. I still need to have a good deal of uh, production so that I can generate a lot more units. Go one, two, three. Okay. I might build a fort on top of that, that uh, mountain there. Okay, so that's the third guy there. Let's just keep going north. Seafaring in nine. Alright, settler. Let's do another spearman, because we're going to send a spearman off with the settler. Galley. Uh, oh, great shipyards. I forgot all about that. So the great shipyards, if I remember correctly, Adds production. Yeah. 
it says iron and coal, but it's not really. It's uh, um, timber. You need timber in your city or radius. So that's 38 turns. That doubles the speed of building naval units, though, if I remember correctly. I don't know if I want to waste 38 turns right now. And that's a um, uh, civ specific wonder. So every civ can build it. So or any, or any city that's got um, wood in their city radius now on their on their on the coast. So I'm going to build some more galleries galleys first before I do that. Um, he's producing another spearman. Let's get a barracks in here. Spear. That guy's done. So let's drop a worker out and then a temple. Spearman. It's time for a library up here, I think. Barracks on the front lines. We're going to go with the spearman again. That's a spearman here. So that gives me three in this one. So let's go after um, temple first. And we said we were going to do swords here now. Barracks in the front lines. Another spearman. Barracks back here with a spearman. I know people say I should be building offensive units. But right now, um, we're going to be playing a defensive game for most of the game. So right now, I'd really like to have those defensive units that I can quickly upgrade to pikemen. Okay, let's irrigate this and this. And you. Let's take this spearman. And we're going to move you right here. And I can chop that now. I don't think you've got... Yeah, you're fine. So let's put a mine on there. Fortify this guy. And I think there's no archers in there, right? Oh, there is. So let's take this archer just move him forward. Uh, let's move him... Yeah, let's move him right here. This guy. So we're chopping right there. Hmm. Let's go right there. That's going to be a road and a road. Mine. Irrigate. Where's Spain going? They sent an awful lot of ships up north. And now they're sending like... Well, one swordsman is not really a lot. I don't really have a lot on my border. Yeah, we'll take your rider passage. Hamburgers build spearmen, eh? So let's go with aqueduct. We're going to have to start growing our cities to get some more cash. We're starting to bleed money now. Heidelberg is first to produce a temple. Um, let's go with another spearman for now. Okay, so we, were, we said we were going to build a temple here. So let's do that. Swords. Zucchini. Oh, right. We get workers now, too. Yeah. These workers have hit points, too, so they can die. The enemy can't capture them. Swordsman, let's go with library up here. Oh wait, we can make walls up here. Let's do that. I think I missed that changing the swordsman up here. I think I was making a warrior and it switched over. Okay, so I was going to send this guy here. So we're going to go one, two, road, road. Okay, that, and this, okay, here, yeah, that still looks like it might go around, it's hard to tell, like, it's so confusing up here.
Uh, Byzantines in America are against Inca now. The vultures are circling. Let's go with the Colosseum here. Munich has produced worker. Right. We were going to switch to a temple. Work camp's done. So let's go with aqueduct right away. Barracks is finished up on the front lines. Um, let's build a catapult first and then a temple. Barracks on the front. We said we were going to build a couple of spearmen here. Okay, spearmen. Let's go with... Um, yeah, aqueduct, I think. Another spearman there. Library's done up here. Let's get the walls in really fast. We gotta decide where we're gonna put our Forbidden Palace and maybe it's gonna be Nuremberg. It looks like we got some good production here. So it might be here. Not sure yet. I wanted to kind of save it to later in the game um, when we expand, but I think I'm probably gonna need it earlier on. Um, so let's... Just deciding now if I want to connect that out over there or not. Okay, so this worker now needs to move this way. This can be a mine, that can be a mine, and this can be a mine. That's a road, fortified. See, there are Spanish ships. I wonder where they're going. Let's just chop this. Um... Let's go here. Just working on filling some roads in. Look at this. There's a settlers and workers. Swordsmen. Hmm. Alright, seafaring at six. Yeah, sorry, buddy. No, they don't looks like they're not teching up anywhere. Okay, spearman done here. Let's get a temple in the front. Actually catapult first then a temple. You can never have too many catapults. What are these guys doing? I should be careful about um, hmm, having too many cities that aren't uh, generating units, but I gotta be careful about the number of units I have because my dollars are going down here. Um, let's go temple for research, or a library for research that is. Okay, so we've gone from minus 14 to a minus 32 gold per turn in five turns. So we're going to have to be very wary of what we're doing here now. That is like not sustainable. Okay, you can go there, here, and I think you're going to you just irrigate this for now. Making a spearman. Yeah, we don't want to do that just yet. Let's see um, if we can turn this down. No. Close, but not quite yet. Uh, I should probably check the technologies here. Got a Russian worker.
We're way ahead of them. Yeah, you know what? I think we're good here. Maybe, um... Spain? No. I think this is going to be a really big problem. Um... I'm going to take the cash. That's going to give us another 20 turns at full research, I hope. Um, Inca. They do have currency now. You're not going to trade it, though. But I'll have seafaring shortly. Korea. Right. Um... Babylon was behind us, right? Yeah, okay, so we're fine. Alright, five turns. Oh. oh. Yeah, I did not want this to happen this early, but here we go. Let's go uh, defense or offense? What do you think? Let's grab another galley. Here comes the world war early. This is not good at all. Yeah, that's really upsetting. Um, defenders, defenders, defenders. I just don't want to lose any territory to these guys. Spear, catapult. Finally got the walls up over here. Um, catapult, spear, um, catapult. All right, now we got to figure out where we're going to shift all our guys. But I think we're going to end the episode here. When we come back next time, we're going to be at war with the Babylonians. And I'm probably going to have to get a whole bunch of people to declare war on them because... If I don't, they will. At least they don't have, well, the stack. I mean, I'm not... Not all that worried. But I just didn't want to be fighting this early in the game. What do they got here? A centurion, some spearmen, a bowmen. And I've got defenders and catapults. Yeah. And I got these guys here. So, I, I mean, as long as they come through here, we're okay. I can shift this stack, and I can shift this stack. The auxiliary and the horsemen can get there quickly, well, relatively quickly. And then I'll have to just send up as many spearmen from these back lines as I can. Spearmen and, or swordsmen and archer can move forward. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll end it here, and hopefully next time. We uh, don't take too much of a pounding from the Babylonians. All right, guys. Well, I'll see you next time.